Hey everybody, I thought I'd show my uh, collection of horror film books and I've got uh, quite a few to show and quite a lot of these I'm about to show are very rare and out of print. This first one was the first one I ever got and this is the best, worst, and most unusual horror films. And basically it covers uh, all of the horror films from the uh, 20s all the way through uh, 83 and uh, it's got chapters on themes and the films that are covered. I was very surprised uh, um, in the last chapter, Worst Horror Films, that uh, Wes Craven's first two films, Hills Have Eyes and Last House on the Left, is listed in the Worst Horror Films chapter and also It's Alive is also featured, which I think is uh, unbelievable. And this next one is Horror Movies, which I got over at the uh, my uh, bookstore over in New Boston, which is now gone, and it's basically the same. It covers uh, a lot of the horror films from uh, the 20s all the way through, uh, I think, most of the 80s. <clears throat> Next up is the complete Night of the Living Dead film book, and uh, this, I think, is also very rare, and this also covers the making of a uh, classic film, and uh, it's got some really cool pictures in it. Grand Illusions, and this is Tom Savini's uh, book on uh, the effects that he made on uh, <clears throat> his films from the, that he worked on from the 70s through uh, <clears throat> the early 80s, and uh, this covers Death Dream all the way through Creep Show. Next up is Grand Illusions, book two, and uh, this time it covers Friday the 13th, the final chapter, all the way through. Uh, some other film that he did, uh, some other unknown film called Mr. Stitch, and there's also a chapter on the Night of the Living Dead remake that he worked on. <clears throat> this is uh, Wes Craven's Last House on the Left, the making of a cult classic, and uh, <clears throat> I think this is very rare also. A pretty good book on the making of a uh, <clears throat> classic film, plus there was a chapter on the rip-offs and also a chapter on the uh, cut scenes and the uncut version of the film. The official Splatter Movie Guide and uh, this covers basically a lot of the films that were out on VHS during the uh, VHS heyday and uh, this covers all the way through uh, 88. Blair Witch Project, a dossier, and uh, this is basically uh, the story on how um, Heather, Josh, and Mike uh, went out in the uh, woods and then uh, was found missing, and uh, this is actually a photo uh, book uh, account of that, and uh, I don't know if this is uh, in print or not. And this is... Uh, Fangoria Vampires. This is basically a soft cover uh, paperback book on uh, articles on uh, vampire films that's been in Fangoria magazine over the years. Another Blair Witch book, and this is Blair Witch Book of Shadows. Death Proof, and this is the uh, screenplay to the extended version of the uh, movie. Grindhouse, uh, the Sleazefield Saga of an Exploitation Double Feature, and this uh, covers the making of the movies and the trailers. Pretty good book. And last but not least, and uh, this is basically a coffee table book, but uh, this is Crystal Lake Memories, The Complete History of Friday the 13th. It covers all of the movies from the uh, Paramount era all the way through uh, New Line also, especially uh, <coughs> Jason, um, Freddy vs. Jason, and uh, it's a pretty good book. I mean, a lot of people are interviewed. Excellent book. That's uh, been it for this video, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it.